I am originally from Brazil, São Paulo, uh, and I have been living here in the U.S. since 2010 and in California since 2015. Hi, my name is Kuniot and I'm from Mexico. Hi, my name is Fefe Talavera and I'm from Brazil and Mexico. I'm Fernando Chamarelli from São Paulo, Brazil. Hi, my name is Hilda Palafox or Pony and I'm from Mexico City. Uh, I'm Paola Delfin and I'm from Mexico City. Hi, my name is Saner, uh, better known than Edgar, and I'm from Mexico. Hi, my name is Azão, I'm 48 years old, I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. <laughs> Uh, the first thing, when I received the invitation, I s just imagined the happiness because the possible li lineup is just amazing. So almost of these guys are my friends. So I know that I enjoy this moment. Alvaro and he will translate. E para esse projeto eu pensei em fazer algo um pouco diferente, que era trabalhar com tons de cores que normalmente eu não uso em minhas pinturas. Então eu tentei fazer uma paleta de cores mais cinza e preta e tentar destacar mais um personagem puxado para as cores vermelhas. Assim. So Fernando was telling us that how he came up with this idea is that he, he wanted to try something different than he usually does. I believe that he works, his color palette usually is very like uh, uh, a big range, like very colorful. But for this project, he wanted to try something new, something different. So he wanted to try to have like the characters in, uh, on the back, more like on a grayscale, like a cold grayscale. And, and then the element in the front very uh, con con uh, with a lot of contrast like colorful and, and red and, and, and warm when I was invited to the show I thought I thought uh, I was really happy because uh, for a long long time uh, I had uh, this wish to work with Mexicans and uh, since I I read the, the, with who I was going to paint. I just freak out and I was like super happy. First thought when I was invited to this show, it was, I was really happy and excited because it sounded like a, a great opportunity because uh, I love the artists that are on this show. So to me, it was like a, a big opportunity. I, 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 I thought it would be a chance to do something really cool. Uh, and I was happy and excited about it. Uh, the first thing that I was like very uh, sure that I wanted to do, it was to be two characters like uh, confronting each other. Because for me, it's like, um, the, the title of the exhibition was very inspiring for me because it's, uh, it's, it speaks about change, the instrument of change. And for me, we are the instruments of change, you know, like to work together as a team, like not to be divided by geographical uh, invisible lines. So, I wanted to be like uh, showing these two characters working together to um, feel this like something like a symbol, like it's a fountain, but it's not. It's more like they're feeling this space to create something bigger than it's going to be higher. And you know, I, and it explodes in something higher, but it's the work together, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Normally, uh, it's a mix of field energy and 
and looking for the space you can you know it's like a download I don't have a word to explain my process you know it's totally free and spontaneous is improv improvisation yes it's this is my design my blue drum it's it's more uh, it's the same process every time when I create a blue drum I'm doing for myself you no know, it's a spontaneous lines also first approached me with this invitation I felt like this was a really nice opportunity to uh, show the work that Latin Americans that all we do uh, to to another people and to be like that it was gonna be great to be all together and to be able to meet other artists from another cities and um, and yeah, to represent my country and the Latin American culture with uh, some fellow artists and friends. came up with um, has been developing during the time that I'm that I'm here like in, a, in the process in the moment um, it kind of improvising it's a it's just a collection of memories and experiences that I've had I sempre vejo os festivais que eu fui pintar e onde eu, eu pude ver fora é, fora do Brasil e na Europa e eu consegui ver muita arte latina assim, de artistas da América Latina. Regarding if 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 this, the Latin artists are well represented in the art world, uh, he believes they are because he he has been to a couple of festivals and he he felt that they had a, like a good amount of Latin artists and he, he felt that he was well represented there. It's my first time working with glasses, which is incredible because the colors and everything, but I cut myself a lot and it's like, a, it hurts. It's, it's great and um, I just met a really nice artist from here which is helping me a lot uh, with uh, techniques and things that she's amazing. Her name is Katy. Working with volunteers is always like a learning. Um, when, you le when you work with people from another country, you learn a lot, you know, and uh, it's about culture. When I was invited to the show, I thought, I thought, uh, I was really happy because uh, for a long, long time uh, I had uh, this wish to work with Mexicans and uh, since I, I read the, the, with who I was going to, to paint, um, I, I just freaked out and I was like super happy. Okay, um, the design just come uh, just thinking about the name of the shows, Instruments of Change. And in this moment, I think 
the world needs just be focused on the education and just clear the mind because we are really separate right now. And I just want to share the best things for the society. I, I think this kind of things is the powerful for change and just resist this uh, terrible moment around the world. Uh, the first thing, when I received the invitation, I just imagined the happiness because the possible lineup is just amazing. So almost of these guys are my friends. So I know that I enjoy this moment. Ah, sim, eu acho que esse show representa bem é, os latinos porque dentro desse show tem é, grandes artistas da América Latina e eu estou feliz em ser parte disso. Ah, so Fernando is telling us that yes, he believes that this show uh, represents uh, Latin artists. Mm -hmm. uh, that he's really happy to be part of it because uh, he, he considers the other artists to be great artists and he is happy about being part of this group. The Latin art is not being very well represented in, around the world. Uh, I think it needs uh, more. Uh, we need to show more. And we don't have too much um, sponsors, for example, in, in Brazil that could help to show more around the world, you know? And uh, so it's kind of difficult for, for us. Well, when, when I arrived, I, have, I didn't have a design yet. So every time I go to a place, I try to feel the vibe a little bit and to, to create something um, an interpretation of the tarot cards. The, so I wanted to do this. This uh, show is called the Instruments of Change. So I think uh, justice is a really important uh, instrument of change. So I chose the justice tarot card and did it on my own uh, interpretation, on my own way. So yeah. <laughs> really well represented in the art world and in the world in general. Uh, I mean, I'm from Mexico, so I have a, my culture is really strong in arts and I think uh, all the people here, that all, my, um, all the other artists from here are really, really representing the culture in an amazing way. Uh, my work, uh, it's not like you see and you see all the Mexican culture probably, but I mean, I'm Mexican, so everywhere I go, I'm representing my, my culture, obviously. But I think in the, in the scene, it's very well represented. And I think, uh, again, LA is like this cross between Mexico and the United States. So I think uh, it's really important to, to remember, like we are this mix that we can work together and we can represent both uh, cultures well. So I have been working like combining elements of transportation with uh, housing and with homeless issue. I have been combining for a time so uh, this, uh, then I came up with this idea with the sidecar and then later on uh, from, I have been uh, talking to people about like uh, converting one of my paintings into an, an sculpture or an installation but most of them are really difficult to do because they are really impossible regarding like the gravity and the physics of the thing they are really impossible to do but this one was the most doable of them all so if I think that the, my ethnicity is being represented in the art world if you mean like if we're talking about the, the US art world or the California art world maybe not so much or not as proportional as the population because I, I believe that uh, California has uh, about like 38% of Hispanic population and I don't think we see 38% of arti uh, Hispanic artists showing at galleries. I 
think every person that can enjoy uh, these different points of view is a uh, different styles, and different visions. So it's really interesting how we can share in the same space and how we can share the vision around our culture or around uh, just the social moments. So it's a great, great show. This show is representing uh, all the Latin Americans. Yeah, this show has a, a good representation of Latin America. It has a, the vibe, definitely. It has really good uh, artists in here um, doing their thing. But um, yeah, I, I think so. It definitely does. <laughs> I think this shows it's representing the Latin culture with the different artists in different parts of the American, you know. For example, I'm from Sao Paulo, I have my personal culture and uh, other guys have a personal cultures also. I think it's everything, everyone has. Yes, I do believe that this show represents the Latin art or like Hispanic art. Uh, it is a small sample because I believe we are about like eight artists uh, or so, so it's like a, a small sample, but, but I do, yes, it's, it's a great thing, it's a great show and it's a great opportunity to show like Hispanic art, Latin art, we, we all have our own uh, different styles, but in a way that is, that is you, you, you got a feel for like Latin culture, Latin elements, Latin colors, Latin compositions. So yes, I, I, I do believe that this show is, uh, captures uh, what it is, Hispanic and Latin art, and I'm really happy to be part of it.
Thank you.